Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Adam and Chris Show. I'm St. Adam. Yeah, I'm Chris Malice. Chris, I know you've been waiting for this one. What are we talking about today? Top 10 heist films. Let's go, shall we? You want to explain to anyone that doesn't know what a heist film is? Yeah, it's basically a film based around a robbery. A, or a heist. A, a, a heist, a, a job, a score, say. So Yeah, uh, see, they're, copper? They're planning at one point. The execution of the crime, and then uh, the getaway. So we'll put that as like the kind of like the three plot points. All right, all right. So there you go. There's your criteria. Do we? Um, do you have anything you want to mention before we get right into the list? Let's just fucking dive right oh, in. Oh, let's dive right in. Okay. All right. What do we have at number ten? Well, well, we got some honorable mentions. Oh, you actually have honorable mentions we, we this have time four, around. Four honorable mentions. We're going to start four? with number. Yeah, we're going to start with number four, "Killing Zoe," starring Eric Stoltz, written and directed by Roger Avery, the uh, man that co uh, co wrote um, Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. With I've Quentin never Tarantino. heard of this damn movie. The movie is about a uh, a safe cracker that um, goes to France to uh, pull a job with uh, an old buddy of his. You call him a cracker? Safe cracker. Uh, Crack safe. I, I mean, okay, if you say so. So they, he goes to uh, France to do this job, and of course, right in the middle of uh, robbing this, breaking into the safe in this bank, everything goes to shit, and his friend's fucking crazy as hell. And at one point, he meets up with a prostitute, and he starts to have a thing for her, and she's in the bank when it gets robbed. Uh, they go nuts because you basically find out in France, if you get caught robbing a bank, it's life in prison. So, Killing Zoe, number four. Number three, uh, Inside Man with Denzel Washington. And? Clive Owen. Slick fucking movie. Good, movie. really good film. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but uh, take everything Clive Owen says at the beginning of the film. Literally. At his, literally. Uh, he's with a group of other people that rob a bank that was funded by a man that uh, uh, sold out a group of uh, Jewish people during World War II. Uh, Jody Foster plays somebody that works with that man and that man's company to basically um, get them out of there and, you know, kind of put a hush on the whole past that this man has. Denzel Washington's a detective working it. Great movie. The score at number two for our honorable mentions. You want to take that one? I don't know. You're on a roll. De Niro, uh, though. De Niro, Brando, and Ed Norton. Um, basically, it's a movie about an old guard uh, um, stick-up man or, you know, con uh, thief, teaching a new guard thief, and uh, Marlon Brando's in it as well. And our number one honorable mention is Entrapment, because Katharina Zeta-Jones does that ever-so-sweet duck and bow around the, the lasers. I just want to point one thing out. What's that? Entrapment starts with an E. I don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, on to the list. Number 10? Ironically enough, number 10 is Ocean's Eleven. Yep. Uh, All-star cast. Uh, it's a remake. It's uh, an entourage film, yes. yes. It's, it's a fun film. I, yeah. I enjoy it every time I watch it. I like all the Ocean's movies, so 11, 12, 13, and 8. But 11 does have to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Just watch them put the group together and like every little thing they go through to get to the heist, the way they pull it off. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, you don't feel bad for the guy being robbed. Uh, Gar uh, you have Clooney, um, Pitt, Damien. Damon. Damon. Right there, three big box office draws. I believe Gar is it Andy Garcia that's in it? Yep. Andy Garcia. As the guy who gets robbed, the casino owner. Yep. And then you have some other uh, actors that play kind of smaller roles in the, in the Ah, group. who cares who they are? Well, I think one of them was, uh, what's his name, from fucking uh, Bad Santa. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, The Italian Job. Good film. Good film, good uh, good remake. The original with uh, Michael Caine was it mm -hmm. Michael Caine? I think was so. actually quite good. Um, the ending really leaves you on a cliffhanger. I'm just going to leave that at that and not explain anything more. But the uh, remake, Ed Norton's the villain, um, and does a great job. Yes, even though he gave no fucks while filming that. But that's why it it worked. Um, I thought Mark Wahlberg and um, Charlize Theron, uh, Donald Sutherland. And they it. and they uh, made a they made a ride based on this film at Kings Island. Yes, they did. <laughs> um, great film. 
Uh, great performances by all actors. Uh, number eight, Inception. I mean, what can we say about Inception that at this point hasn't been said? It's really a, a really good experiment in filmmaking. Um, if we didn't have Inception, we probably wouldn't have had Doctor Strange. Yeah. At least the way it was. Um, a group of people travel into somebody's dream within a dream to uh, implant the idea of what possibly um, Cillian Murphy running his own company down to the ground or something along that lines. And they encounter all these like mental defenses he has and all that type of stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. It's one of Nolan's best. Uh, DiCaprio's in it, of course. And Tom it, Hardy it has, before he's Bane has one of the best cameos in it when they run into Freddy in this guy's dream within a dream. Uh, number seven, we have one of your favorite movies, Usual Suspects. And you've probably seen a lot of stuff online about that movie. I'm if not you gonna remember Chris's top ten, uh, I'm not going to give away the ending, but. Uh, a group of uh, criminals that were pulled together that, that became a group of friends after a, a lineup that they were pulled into years uh, about a year prior are requested to uh, go hijack a, a shipping boat of cocaine and burn the cocaine. But there's something else um, there that's uh, a bigger scheme. Um, this character named Kaiser Soze brings them together. We'll leave that at that. Um, number six, Ant-Man. Yeah, you know, the, I actually wanted to throw this one on here because we're like, name some heist movies. So I'm like, Ant-Man, at its core, is a heist film. It's just a Marvel superhero heist film. And it's a fun heist film. I mean, when you got a, when you got someone that's trying to pull off this job that can shrink and grow like that, I mean, it just adds different dimensions to what you can do. What can I say? Paul Rudd, very, very charismatic lead. It's got your it's got your heart filled moments, got your action moments, got your comedy moments, and it's probably the only, well, one of the only two movies on this list that you don't have to send the kids out of the room to watch. Yeah, that's true. Uh, number five, Dead Presidents. Because uh, of course it. Ha- that's such a great film. I think people forget how iconic that film was. Yes. Oh, it's such a good movie. Such a good fucking movie. Um. What is it? A group of uh, um, uh, people uh, that are former Vietnam vets end up pulling off a bank case. They have the the white faces on and all that. Paint, shit. paint the face white, black around the eyes, black on the lips. Almost kind of look like because it came out not too long after the Crow, and people are like, "Oh, here's the new Crow sequel." Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's not. They, they, their makeup's kind of mime like. <laughs> yeah. Um, great movie. Um, great acting. Um, uh, a lot of iconic, like like just memorable moments from it, like uh, where they're in the was it the dumpster he pulls out. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, like the most enacted scene from that yeah. film. I mean, they parried it into in "Don't Be a Menace." Yep. With with uh, what's his name's grandmother of all characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, number four, Baby Driver. I've actually never seen this movie. heist movie told from the perspective of the getaway driver. A uh, young kid that uh, uh, he's always listening to his headphones. He drives um, people pulling heists from their locations. And uh, at one point, stuff goes wrong. And one of those guys starts chasing after him and this girl he has a crush on. Music's great. The feel of it's great. Um, <laughs> guess who's in that movie? I don't know because I've never seen there, it. There, there's a common pattern with uh, some of these. Uh, uh, a no-no Ed guy. Norton? No, a oh. no-no guy. Not Bill. Oh, Spacey! <laughs> yeah, he's in that movie. <laughs> before this, he is. before the shit hit the fan for him. Oh, well, regardless, though, I mean, I'm sure the movie's pretty good. Oh, it's very good. Uh, so let's go to number three, shall we? This this is a classic '80s film. '80s, uh, what, early, late '80s? No, early, early '90s. Early '90s film with Keanu Reeves. Take it away. Bill and Ted's bogus journey. They try to infiltrate hell to get to heaven, so they're pulling off the heist to find this alien. Uh, I to think build we're talking about a totally different movie. <laughs> yeah. Number three, Point Break. Oh. Uh, well, it, it, the the main protagonist, of course, Keanu Reeves, uh, infiltrates a a group of uh, uh, a crew that goes around robbing banks dressed as the the uh, presidents of the United States and their surfers. Develops a good bond with the leader, played by uh, 
Oh, fuck. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Um, and, of course, he descends into, you know, potentially whose side is he on, the cop side. Or Although I will say I think Patrick Swayze's character in this might have been the precursor to the dude. Yeah. The Big Lebowski. <laughs> and he's a likable bad guy. That's Yeah. What... I mean, he's he's actually, I think he's, he might be the one of the least violent characters in this movie, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, Gary, Gary Busey's in it. <laughs> of course Busey's in it. <laughs> All right. Um, and you know what? L- Lori Petty's in this film, and I know some people get on the fence about her, you know, just the way she acts and her performances, but she turns in a pretty good performance in yep. this. Yep. You know who else? Um, a musician makes a special uh, guest appearance in this film. Zach Wilde. Yep. Plays, what's his name? Rosie? I, got, I can't remember. Plays a friend of Patrick Swayze's. All right. That, number two. Number two. Probably one of the. One of the key movies to point to when Ben Affleck actually said, you know what, I'm going to go back and actually learn how to act. And learn how to make films. And it's not Reindeer Games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, The Town, great uh, movie about a a group of friends that are, of course, a a crew that robs banks. Um, Ben Affleck gets reintroduced back to that group. Uh, One of them is his close friend and... Um, at one point, they rob a bank, and he starts to uh, develop feelings for uh, one of the hostages later on. Mm-hmm. Um, John Hamm is in it, and he's kind of hamming it up. Uh, it's, the movie, <laughs> it's the movie. It's the movie that made Jeremy Renner's name a household name. Let's just put it that way. He Did it for- come out before Avengers? Yes. Oh, yes. I seem to remember it the other way. Okay. I, I, I think he, at least Avengers, he might have been in Thor beforehand, but, it, but it's it's the thing that but, I mean, got everyone talking Affleck about. Affleck is really good in this film. Yes. You know, and this isn't like kind of douchey Ben Affleck from you know the late 90s or whatever. This is like, I'm a legitimate actor this time around. Yep. This isn't, this isn't Gigli Affleck. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, what's our number one? Are you guys ready? It could only be one film. Heat, directed by Michael Mann, with one of the greatest gunfights in cinema history. With two of the greatest actors who always do well when playing opposite each other. Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. De Niro's the criminal who robs banks, pulls jobs. Pacino's the guy chasing after him. And you know what? Neither of them are painted as all the way good or all the way bad. And Val Kilmer is in it. Before, um, before he did Batman Forever. Yeah. Uh, it has probably one of the best, a- after they pull, uh, Pacino's, uh, De Niro's crew uh, pulls off a, yeah, he pulls off a bank heist, they're leaving out, uh, there's a big shootout, and uh, yeah, oh yeah. traditionally what they do when they make films like that, um, they put gun sounds in later, they don't use live recordings of the gun well if they off. also don't use live ammunition this well they didn't thought, use live i know ammunition i thought this. you were that i'm like is he gonna say live ammunition but, uh, please don't uh, mike mann heard the way that the uh the uh the gun sounded in in the dailies the daily footage and he was like fuck it keep it why 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 overdo this overdub this um it's very tense um, it has a great scene where your criminal and your cop have a sit down talk in a diner yep yep Oh, that scene's so good. Remember when... Uh, what did De Niro say? Don't get attached to anything, anything you can't drop in 30 seconds. When, until you see, when you see the heat coming a mile away or yeah. something like that. Ah, that line was so fucking great. I, they, uh, they're, Pacino they're, had one of the best lines in it, though. When uh, they start to investigate the, uh, Hank Azaria, who's banging Val Kilmer's wife, and the guy's <laughs> like, I don't even know why I got involved with that bitch. And Pacino goes like, because she's got a great ass! And you got your head all the way up it. <laughs> delivered only the way that Pacino can deliver it. <laughs> oh. It is so great. Freaking great. Movie. But no, it's one of the best, the best heist movie I've ever seen. I mean, that's like making this list. I was like, him and I are like, number one, heat. Yep. Yep. Watched it with my dad. I watched it on my own. All right. <laughs> so. so there you go. Top 10 heist movies. Did we forget anything? Did we leave anything out? You let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Share this video around with people that love these type of movies. Do you have anything you want to recommend?
Any one you, movie? You need to. You at least need to watch he at number one. I know for the younger generation that hasn't seen a whole lot of heist movies, that that is the movie you have to see. I can that in Point Break. Not the remake though. Yeah, don't fuck the remake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, be sure to follow us on all our social media sites, and we're talking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram's coming soon. From the Adam and Chris Show, I'm Saint Adam. I'm Chris Malice. Catch you later.